All right, history once again will be made. We just had the Solheim Cup, the golf version of the Ryder Cup on the women's side at Inverness Club a couple years ago. Another international sporting event coming to UT's Glass Bowl on Saturday, July 1st. The Italian Bowl, the IFL Italian Football League championship game. The two best teams vying for the trophy. That game will be played in the 419. I'm Justin Feldkamp alongside Nick Ida and Rob Sims. We handle the game of the week pregame show each and every week here during the IFL season. So, Nick, I'm sure you've been promoting this as long as you can remember since it began. When someone says, hey, what's the IFL? What's the Italian Football League Championship game coming up to Toledo? What do you say? I say all great ideas start with a trip to Italy. <laughs> Italy, <laughs> Italian food, what, what have you. And it really, you know, this idea kind of started, obviously I played in the league, so I have a history of playing in the Italian Football League, played for five different teams in my tenure there. But, you know, Rob and I were fortunate enough to go on a trip over in 2017 with one of his uh, former teammates, Calvin Johnson, and his, his business partner to, to go see American football. Yeah. And Rob and Calvin, that was a new experience for them to see the Italian Bowl, see that game, and, and kind of be a part of it in Vicenza, Italy. Coming away from that, you know, a friend of ours, Raffaello Pellegrini, was able to come back and visit us and, and come to Toledo, play golf at Inverness, which was yeah. a big uh, experience for him, and be a part of that. And so he said, leaving that after we toured Toledo and he got to know the campus, he said, guys, what do you think about a destination Italian Bowl? You know, every Italian Bowl has always been played in Italy, but the game of football was born in Ohio, born in the States. You know, the United States was discovered by an Italian. What if we did a destination game? And from that point on, I think everybody that we were in circles with said, this is a great idea. How do we make this happen? And that was the beginning. And Rob, you know, you've seen it firsthand, and you come from a background where a scholarship for college to play at Ohio State, signing contracts, in many cases, for millions of dollars to play in the NFL. That is not the case for the IFL. Guys playing for the love of the game, and some of the star players playing for the love of the game. And I know that that is something that you truly do appreciate. Yeah, I mean, just the commitment to play football in general but just put your body on the line every single day and you're not getting compensated for that you just love the game I mean it's just a great story and I just really appreciate these players and their dedication man it's gonna be cool to see them live out their dream here in Toledo and Nick playing for pizza in many respects a book was written by a famous author I know is connected to the lead up to the July 1st Italian Bowl what can you tell our viewers about that yeah it's a great book for you know folks that haven't read that book called playing for pizza it was a bestseller here in the States it was also a bestseller in Italy. Italy. It was changed as many titles do. It was called Il Professionista. Their story about, uh, actually kind of a true story about the upset of a team that hadn't lost in eight years and 73 games. So really a wonderful story. John Grisham will be coming to the game. Still has really a nice uh, affiliation with the Parma Panthers. One of the favorites this year uh, to win the Italian Bowl. So that'll be nice to have him a part of things. And then we have a number of events leading up to it. A Mayor's Cup, basically, lack of a better way. I would describe it as like the uh, NFL Combine where you're doing different exercises and being timed and uh, different uh, competitions. So a number of mayors are going to participate in that in the Sunday before the July 1st uh, Italian Bowl. And then also Taste of Italy. You talked about uh, it was the idea was born with a trip to Italy and the great food that was there that three of us know firsthand. Uh, now the best Italian restaurants in our area are going to be showcased in the weeks leading up. Yeah, and I've heard we have somewhere around 40 plus restaurants who have signed up and really they get their opportunity to put their best foot forward say this is our best Italian dish and we'll you know we'll see who comes out on top of that as well. And Rob what else are you looking forward to the most as we approach July 1st? Well I wanted to comment on the food actually. <laughs> um, yeah, right. I just, I'm just really excited about getting an opportunity to try some Italian food again. Um, I need to go on a fast beforehand because I'm eating everything that's happening. <laughs> and it is going to be a pretty spectacular event. BCSN and uh, Buckeye Broadband truly committed to getting behind that it will air live. The game will air live. A 2.30 pregame show Saturday, July 1st, leading up to game coverage at 3 o'clock live from UT's Glass Bowl. For Nick and Rob, I'm Justin. Back to you guys.